Hello my soccer universe to another collection video. This time we're looking at this Feyenoord shirt from the 10-11 season which was my first Feyenoord shirt in the collection and when I got it I was quite happy that I finally had a Feyenoord shirt. However it's also true that I compromised back then because the same seller was also selling the one from the following season the 11-12 which looked much much nicer. Yes it had a sponsor uh that was potentially a downer but if you look it up uh the 11 12 shirt is in my opinion very close to what an ideal fan or sh shirt should look like it was also a little bit more expensive so i was at the time happy that i maybe saved a little bit but to be honest i got this one and it was 2021 i knew i needed a fan or shirt and that was the only option and so i got it I'm not saying that I I immediately regretted it, but the more I look at it, the more I actually got booked by it. Really, 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 and I've been very vocal on my channel about it. And uh, so yeah, I also not only should I show it to her, I also already pulled it up for sale in the hope that it will be sold relatively soon because it's one of the items where I said, okay, this was a buy that under different circumstances I would probably not have made. Meanwhile, I have a much nicer Feyenoord shirt as well. But I would say it's worth it looking at it a little bit in detail to show exactly what I'm so bugged about this one. Because on the face of it, I actually really like it's a sponsorless Feyenoord shirt. But let's look at it in a bit more detail. I mean, right from the get-go, the color is just plain weird. This was the Puma template used in uh, 10 in 2010 at the 2010 World Cup for the European teams like Switzerland had such a color and I think the Italy shirt had, uh, had such a color. I don't get why this has to be there. Um, also, I like it half half even going down to the sleeves but then you have these patches here. Yes, they go along but then again the sleeve cuffs are kind of unnecessary with a red patch here, a white patch here. And most importantly, the color doesn't follow the half-half scheme. And I think Feyenoord should look best either if they have a black color, but I actually like it better if they have a half-half color as well. So if one side here, this side should be all white, this side should be all red and have even the floppy color switching. So this kind of already breaks a little bit the total half-half look. And then to top it off the template, has these weird patches here on the bottom and for some reason they went that on this side it's red and so the half half look that is so iconic is broken and those are just things that are really really odd but i also want to show you a few things that are nice about this shirt that i actually um wish that they would feature more often the feynard crest here this is what well, is a uh, basically a silicone transfer on really nice has a really nice feel feel to it that is a part that i would like to have on more furniture i have to say i'm come com I'm, I'm coming around to this style of crest it also has this nice 3d effect really really nice the puma logo here also kind of a, um, a silicone logo on uh and the same thing goes for the sleeve so this is actually quite high quality work there's another really nice feature and i'm not sure how much the camera will pick it up but there are a whole bunch of F's here within the fabric, which I think is a really cool touch. However, why is it hidden away? Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe you, could, you could have incorporated it in the entire shirt as well. Uh, so those are two really nice touches, I have to say. I also, I really don't mind the collar per se. I mean, it's kind of a rugby style collar, but uh, you know, it could have been done a bit better. And then there's also, why do I hide it away, but it says Rotterdam in here which I think is also a pretty nice feature overall. Uh, it's on the back half-half, but again, if you make this panel here all white, so it doesn't wrap around, and you actually have the additional panel here. I mean, I can show you the seam. Here's the seam between those two. You could really make this white. Why don't you do that? Why are you not doing it white? This would be so great. And then, yeah, you have the white tail. You could have blow pro pro split that up as well. I potentially, I think, because the tail of this shirt is white, that they then decided to go here all red. But I honestly, this is something that really bugged me. You see also on the red side, there are some 
F's within the fabric. So yeah, uh, the other thing where I um, where I compromised it was an L. I don't want to say it doesn't fit me, but it is maybe a more snug fit than I would like. Now I did it. I didn't realize it initially, but the season when Feyenoord was wearing this shirt with ASR sponsor, and I think it being sponsorless, proper probably is the is another great part of the jersey. As I said, the jersey is as bad as the season was for Feyenoord. This is one of the worst seasons that Feyenoord had, finishing only in tenth. Coming after the season where they finished fourth, that season that 20 became champ champions, and then following it up, becoming second behind Ajax, Ajax winning then uh, also in this 11th season and, and in the 12th season. So uh, kind of a real dip, despite having actually quite some interesting players to, to, to be honest. I mean, uh, there are three names that you probably will know. This is Stefan de Frey, who of course uh, is, is now playing for Inter, was also La Lazio. Gini Van Alden is probably the biggest name. He became a star. And then an aging Yondal Thomason was also in there. So overall, not such uh, bad players, but definitely a bad squad. And overall, you know, kind of fits the picture. As I said, uh, it is my first Feyenoord shirt. For that, I'm very grateful that I had it and it was very useful in my videos for now two years. But it's time to move on and I hope that it will find a happy home somewhere. In any case, please let me know what, what you think about this jersey. I've talked it down now quite for some. Maybe you really like it. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!